He's in behind the barn, guys. He didn't run away. This is a great day. Look, he's right there. You see him? <laughs> yes! It's a cold one today. It's a very brisk morning. Looks like it's about six degrees Celsius, but good morning. Stormy, let's go. Stormy, let's go. Let's go. Today's gonna be a special day for Fozzie Bear the Barn Cat, guys, because it's the first day of the rest of his life. Woo! He's no longer gonna be confined to that room in the barn. He's gonna be released. He's gonna be free, just like Stormy. I'm no longer gonna lock him up. Today's gonna be the first day that he's gonna be free and released upon the farm. bud it's your last day locked up it's your last day in lockup you're free you're free on the farm look what these chickens did to their feeder what are you guys doing why are you dumping your food tighten that up a little so it doesn't come off what are you guys doing you causing trouble how you doing michael jackson are you bad michael jackson you a smooth criminal here you go buddy It's gonna be a great day for old Fozzie here. It's last day in lockup in the barn. I'm gonna set up some trail cameras. I'm gonna set up one outside the back of the barn and I'm gonna set up one on the inside of the barn because I wanna keep an eye on when he's leaving, if he's leaving, and if he's coming back inside the barn at any point during the night. Just out of curiosity, really. But I'm quite confident that he's not gonna leave the farm now. He's wandered all over the farm, like all many, many, many days in a row. He's wandered all over the place and uh, he's doing great. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. Hey, Foz. Fuzzy, I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm proud of you, bud. It's quite brisk this morning, guys. Winter's coming. I have so much work to do on the farm to get ready for winter. It's not even funny. I'm still working on this custom ultimate gazebo chicken house. I still have that fallen tree to take care of. I took care of a lot, but I've been so busy working on this chicken house that I never get a chance to work on this. Molly and I worked on removing all of these stalks, like all the stems from the sunflowers. And that's a whole lot of work too. I still gotta level out this soil right here. There's leaves to be blown. There's firewood to prepare. There's like wood chipping to do. I still gotta fix up my garden. 
Got that massive garden that I'm, I completely tore down. I want to redo it for next year. A lot of work at the farm, guys. Guys, I finally got my ID tags for the cats, eh? Check it out. Yeah, it's got my phone number on the back. It's pretty much the same tag that I had Stormy and Smoky. I got it off a Canadian supplier off Etsy and it's hand stamped and it's made out of aluminum so it won't rust or degrade. It's really nice, I like it. And I like the designs, so I'm happy with it. So he's got his own tag now. Let's go check these ducks. Remember the other day I moved a lot of the, the young ducks into the big ducks and uh, there's seven drakes here living together. It's like some kind of a fraternity, eh? It's a drake duck fraternity in that little hut. <laughs> These guys need some fresh water. And they need some fresh food. I think they did. There's a brand new egg right here. <laughs> yes, guys, those Rhode Island laid this egg inside the nesting boxes. Woo! I'm so proud of those chickens. There are, I see there's a lot of eggs on the ground also, because I think there's 12 hens in here, 12 or 13 hens. But one of them was smart enough to lay this egg in the nesting box. Yeah. Oh, they're so dirty. Give me those eggs, ladies. Red, are you okay? Are you okay, Red? I realized something yesterday, guys. I was working in this coop the other day, I think it was yesterday, and I saw one of these Rhode Island red chickens try to jump up into the nesting boxes and it couldn't get in. So I thought to myself, ooh, that might be a problem. So what I realized is that it might be a problem to go from the ground directly into the nesting areas. So what I did is I put this bar here all the way across, but of course, I didn't design my swing doors in such a way. So now, if I swing this door up, it hits this corner. So I need to modify that a little bit. I need to either make this door smaller or make this a little bit shorter. What I did is I left an egg in each one of these. Just for a day or two, I'll leave the egg there. If they're not learning, 
then I'll end up switching these out with some ceramic eggs or some golf balls or something. I just checked the back of the barn and I don't see Fozzie Bear anywhere. I guess I have to learn how to trust him now. I was worried that he was gonna run away, so I hadn't, you know, I, every time I don't see him, I always go looking for him. He's his own man now, you know? He's gotta be responsible and not leave. So I'm just walking back to the barn to see if he's in here. Fozzie! I don't see Fozzie anywhere. All I see is Molly the sheepdog. Hey Molly! Molly! Where's Fozzie? Where's Fozzie? Go find Fozzie! Go find Fozzie! Molly, I said go find Fozzie, not go find your ball. Ah, I said go find Fozzie, not your ball. You want me to play, don't you? You want me to play? <laughs> First day that Fozzie's being released upon the farm and I've lost him. I can't find him. I've looked everywhere. I walked all over the farm. Can't find him. Where the heck did he go? Fozzie, what are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? How'd you get up there, bud? How are you going to get down? I think Fozzie must have went up this ladder to get to the loft area of the barn. I'd never even go up there. There's nothing up there. It's just vacant air. And uh, I don't I don't really know if he can get down. This ladder needs to be redone, eh? And I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice antique ladder, but right there, it's missing a rung. I don't know if he can get down. So I'm gonna leave him up there for now and see if he can figure it out. Stormy, where are you going? But uh, I'm gonna check on him a little bit later. I gotta go do the ducks and the geese now. And uh, I'll come back and see if he's gotten down or if he's stuck. Hope all these young ducks that we transferred in here the other day are doing okay. Hopefully the geese hasn't hurt them. How you doing ducks? You doing okay in here? I don't know. There's a bunch of ducks that have been separated. The rest are inside the hut, but these aren't the ones that I brought over. The ones that I brought over are inside the hut with the other half of the flock, so I guess that's a good sign. They're all coming out now. Let's get them out into the pasture here. Whew. <laughs> Little bit of a problem. The geese came out and all the big ducks came out and the four hens and one drake that I transferred over here the other day, they didn't come out. Almost, they came right to the edge of the door, but they're not trained to, to go like the way these ducks are. And I guess they don't really feel part of the flock yet. So the other ducks are already swimming in the, in the pools. Sadly, I can't even go inside the run here to get them out because it's a complete mud bath in there. It's bad, bad. <laughs> this is all mud, all of it. It's been raining here for like three or four days in a row and it's bad. <laughs> How am I gonna get these ducks out now? I can go into the duck house and get them out, but they won't come out of the run. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I mean, those, those five ducks that I transferred over, at least they're still alive. No damage, no blood and guts. <laughs> I'm going to let them get used to this house, though. I'm not going to take them out. I'm not going to force them out into the pasture there. I'm just going to leave them inside the house. And, I mean, all the other ducks will go out and in, out and in. These guys just need to get used to their new house, I guess. Let's get back in the barn and check on Fozzie to see if he's still stuck up on the second floor. How am I going to get him down? I can't go up there. I'm a big, heavy guy. I don't want to walk on those boards. I might fall through. Fuzzy! Fuzzy! Come here, bud! Fuzzy! Come here! How are you gonna get down? Huh? How are you gonna get down? You stuck? Are you stuck? See, you're stuck up there, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Stay. Fuzzy! So proud of Fozzie. It's going to be a great addition to our farm. Catching mice, keeping the rodent population down, rats, squirrels, chipmunks. He can do it all. Anyways, you'll be seeing Fozzie around the farm every episode. What are you barking for? That first night released on the farm, Fozzie Bear had a grand old time in the barn. He ate some food, drank some water. He went inside the cat house for, I don't know, about an hour. And then he came out. He must have had a nap in there. He's really investigating the barn, you know. He was checking all the nooks and crannies of the place. 
and overall, he didn't really leave the barn. He stayed inside the barn pretty well all night. It's the next morning here, guys. Stormy's right here. Now we have to go check on Fozzie Bear. Let's see what he was up to last night. The first place I'm gonna check is in behind the barn. I'm gonna sneak over there and see if he's sleeping on his straw bales. That's his favorite hangout. <laughs> was I right or was I right? He's in behind the barn, guys. He didn't run away. This is a great day. Look, he's right there. You see him? <laughs> yes! Fuzzy! How you doing, Fuzzy? How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? What a great day at the farm. I'm so proud of Fozzy. He's doing a great job here on the farm. And I thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And you guys take care, okay? Ooh, oh, wait. Don't forget to click that subscribe, though, guys, if you're not already subscribed. Really appreciate it.